Okay guys, so it's for today's project. We are going to be hanging curtains in my bedroom. It is long overdue. That side of the room is just way too bare. So what we're gonna be using today is these command strips, command strip hooks. These are the five pound. I did not know what weight to get, but these were the biggest, and I feel like they also look like they would hold the rod that we're gonna be using for this little project. Speaking of rod and project, I got this Project 62 rod from Target. I believe it was $34. I will leave all the information below, but you guys, this kind of matches the vibe in my room perfectly. I went with a smaller one initially, but my bedroom window is too small for that. So I returned it and picked up this baby. It's really, really long. And as I mentioned, I think that these rods are going to fit perfectly into the hooks. Per the instructions, the first thing that they say you should do is clean the surface with a rubbing alcohol. They say don't use household cleaners, but I feel like Clorox wipes may do the job. This does come with two strips, so I guess just in case you make a mistake, you've got two. Step number two says remove red liner. Press adhesive to the hook. Step number three says remove black liner and press to the wall for 10 seconds. Step number four says to ensure adhesive hold, slide the hook up and off. Step number five says press base firmly for 30 seconds. And step number six says slide hook back on and wait one hour before you use. Guys, and I didn't do a template or measure or anything. I just kind of eyeballed it and I just realized that I think that the one to the left is a little off. Worst case scenario, I can always peel it off and I have two more command strip stickers to use. So it looks like it might be okay. Um, but just want to let you guys know that I did not use a template. If you're really like savvy like that, you can use a template and put one on each side to measure it up properly or use a laser. I'm not that talented. Now it's time to take your rod and we're gonna take it out of the box and then we're going to install it up there. Just to let you guys know that the Project 62 hooks from Target do come with their own hooks and screws, which we are not using for this project, but just to let you know it does come with those. Okay guys, so you're gonna take your third rod and you are going to place it inside of that on one end, and then on the other end here, you're going to place that. So now you have your long rod and let's put it up on the window. So 
So guys, this doesn't fit like I thought it would, but if you gently press down on it, it makes it a little snug without really, really hurting it. But I think that once I put the curtains on here, it's gonna balance out the weight. And it was bowing a little bit in the middle there, but again, once you put the curtains on the end, on each, this end, it will balance it out. Regarding curtains, I was on the fence. I didn't know if I should play it safe and just go with this continuous gray theme over here, or if I should take a risk and go on the contemporary route, which would fuse together the white and gray theme of my room as a whole to ultimately achieve the modern aesthetic I was going for. Ultimately, I wound up going with the more contemporary curtains. I think that color-wise, texturally, I think that it just speaks to the overall theme I was going for in the room. And much like the curtain rods, these are also made by Project 62. If I can be completely honest with you guys, the way that these curtains are set up, these are curtains that have grommets on the top, so the pleating goes very, very deep. And because of how flush the rod is to the hook, it doesn't really allow for deep pleating to make that dramatic pleating down the end. I mean, it's pleating nonetheless, but it's not as dramatic as I think it should be. However, I think that in this type of situation with the hook and the rod, you may want to go with a non-grommet um, curtain. I don't mind it. I'll just zhuzh it so that it's to my liking, but I just wanted to be completely honest with you guys about how it looks finished product. As you see, I had to tuck that back there so that it didn't make it super, super awkward, but that's what it looks like. And this is the finished product. Thank you.